Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 25 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can create a secret scope which is backed by Azure Keyword. Please watch my previous videos to make a more output out of this video. In our past video, I think in the 23rd video, I, create, I explained you theoretically what is secret scope. And also in the last video, I explained you how to install Databricks CLI that will help you to communicate with your Databricks workspace using commands, right? So please watch those videos so that you will make sense of uh, content from this video actually. All the videos in my playlist are in a sequence order. Try to watch all of them one by one so that every video, whatever I am saying, whatever the terms I am using in the video, you will try to, you will make a sense of it. Like what the meaning of the Databricks CLI, what is mount point, so everything, right? So let's continue this video. So as I said, in this video, we are going to create a secret scope, which is backed by Azure Key Vault. Firstly, what is secret scope? As I said in my previous videos, secret scope is nothing but like a, this is, that is a mechanism through which Databricks try to access your secrets or passwords, which are stored in some secret place. So there are like, a, let's assume this is a, once you create a secret scope account, let's assume this is like a secret scope account name called SC1. So inside this is secret scope account, you can create multiple secrets. This may be secret one, this may be secret two like that. For each secret, you will give one name. This is like S1 is this name, S2 is this secret name. And inside this secret, you will actually store your password or your keywords or your credentials, everything. So in the notebook, what you do, you try to access these uh, passwords or secrets or credentials from this secret, which is inside the secret scope. In this way, you no need to hard code your secrets or credentials inside the notebook. Right, this is what we discussed in our past video. So let's try to understand how to create a secret scope which is backed by Azure Key Vault in this video. To do that, what we need to do is we need to navigate to this URL inside the Databricks workspace. Once you open the URL, you need to append this portion to the URL to open a UI that will help you to create a secret scope. So let's try to do that. Let me go to browser. I have already opened my Azure uh, Databricks workspace. So here at the end, you need to append this secrets slash create scope. So let me hit this. So this is going to create open a UI that will help you to create a secret scope, which is backed by Azure Key Vault. So when I say Azure Key Vault backed secret scope, what it means is you have to create a secret scope using UI. That is what you are seeing it here, right? So using this UI, you will be creating a secret scope, but you no need to create a secrets actually in this case. Why? Because Azure Key Vault account itself will have secrets inside it and it, it might have stored your secrets or credentials safely there. So that secrets which are inside the Azure Key Vault, you are trying to access using the secret scope, whatever you are trying to create here. So let me practically show you that. So here, let's try to create a secret scope. So to do that, as I said, go to this URL at the end of your Databricks URL, add this secrets slash create scope. Let's try to name it. So this secret scope name will maybe like a test, test scope. Okay, this is the name of the secret scope. And then this manage principle field will tell you how you want to manage this secret scope. So whatever the secret scope account you are creating, you want to, the creator of the secret scope should be having all the permissions or any user. That means all the users can manage it. That means everyone can create a scope. They can delete it. They can modify it. So how you want to manage this principle? That, that's what it is. So usually most of the times we will be not having the premium Azure Databricks account. So that's the reason we have to go with the all the users only here. If your Azure Databricks account is a premium plan type, then you can select this creator option here. That means the secret scope account can be managed by the creator of that particular scope. So if even in this case, if I try this, it is going to give error. So let me select the all users and here you need to give a key vault uh, account URL and also the resource ID of the key vault. So before practicing this video, you need to make sure you created Azure key vault account. How to create Azure Key Vault account, I have already shown in my Azure Key Vault playlist. Please watch that. And also how to save a secret into Azure Key Vault, that is also I have already shown. So create one Azure Key Vault account and inside that Azure Key Vault account, inside the secrets, you try to save any secret which you want to access it. So, and also uh, go to properties here in the Key Vault account. So here you will see the Key Vault URL, right? So this is what you need to take it as a DNS name of the Azure Key Vault account. So copy this entire thing here by clicking this and go to Databricks create scope UI, paste the key vault DNS name here. That means the URL of the key vault and resource ID, right? The resource ID is nothing but like this one. So let's copy this resource ID of the Azure key vault. Go to Databricks UI, paste the resource ID. Now let me hit the create button. 
this is going to create a secret scope so once once the secret scope created since it is a azure key vault backup type secret scope you no need to create the secrets and store the credentials there because everything you will be doing inside the azure key vault account itself so it says the message saying that test scope this is the secret scope which we already created now successfully let me hit okay so that's it now we created a secret scope but in the ui sadly there is no way to see like whatever the secret scopes available or whatever the secret scopes i created you don't have any practical way right now in the databricks ui so the best way is you need to connect to the databricks workspace from your databricks cli so how to connect your databricks workspace from the databricks cli i already shown in my previous video so here try to execute a command that will list you the available scopes so this command right databricks secrets list scopes this command try to list down all the available scopes inside the databricks so let me hit enter and let's wait for the execution to complete here this should give me a secret scope which i created just now like test scope right you see test scope i created just now which is backed by azure key vault and this is the key vault url so now it is giving you properly that means so using this command i can see whatever the secret scopes i created and this is secret scope just now i created right and again if you try directly using this command inside your command prompt you will be ending up the errors why because your command prompt was not connected with your databricks workspace so please watch my previous video that is 24th video in which i explained how to connect your databricks workspace with a uh, databricks cli okay so let's go back here so we successfully created a uh, databricks uh, sorry uh, secret scope which is backed by azure key vault now let's try to use that let's try to use that secret scope and try to access the secrets inside the key vault account so let me do one thing so i have a blob storage here so to access the blob storage we have something called access keys right so if i go to blob storage if i go to access keys uh, there when we click the show keys here we can see the available keys right here so this keys if you use inside the code to access the blob storage you can very easily access that and we did that in the past videos as well where we created a mount point for the azure blob storage so let me open that previous notebook which i created to create a mount point for the blob storage so here this mount notebook is the notebook which i created in my previous videos for the same purpose if you see here this databricks utilities file system utility then mount function help you to create a mount point again what is mount point mount point is nothing but like attaching your external storage with the databricks file system once you attach it you can access the external storage as if you are accessing a local storage right so and if you see here you given a path to the storage account uh, here in this case this entire container i am trying to give a, as a path so that means and uh, this entire container can be accessed with this mount point going forward right uh, you no need to give the full path and in the extra configurations parameter here we used account key of that particular storage right so here this way we are hard coding our credentials here right this is a bad habit what we need to do we need to take this uh, credential or the secret from here and store it inside the secret of the secret scope and then access it that is what we have to do it why because we don't want to expose our credentials by hard coding them in the code right so for, that is the whole purpose of creating the secret scope right so what i did is for this secret scope i created a secret inside the key vault account so let me go to secrets here i will practically show you that and here inside the secrets uh, menu i created a, a secret called blob account key so if i go inside the blob account key secret this is the name of the secret okay and if i open this current version of that particular secret and in here if i click this show secret value so this is the same account key so that so what that means is i try to store my credentials inside the key vault account as a secret and then i created a secret scope called test scope now using this secret scope and then using this secret name i will try to read this value inside my code so that this value was not publicly exposed inside my code let me practically show you that so to do that inside the databricks utilities there is something called secrets dot get command that will help you to read the secret scope secret values actually so we haven't discussed about this secrets utility yet we will discuss in our upcoming video for now let me copy this and instead of hard coding this entire value of the account key here let me remove this let me paste this here sorry let me paste this here okay so databricks utility secrets dot get command will take you take the scope name so what is my scope name my scope name is test scope right so that is the secret scope name and what is my key name inside the key vault if i go there so my secret key name is my secret key name is blog account key so same thing i am using it here 
so this command is going to fetch the secret value that means the account key whatever we saved inside this secret okay and uh, if you want to practically see that also i can execute this code now that will uh, try to take the value into abcd and it will try to print it but you cannot manually see that so let me execute this by hitting the shift enter button and let's wait for the execution see it says redacted that means you are able to read the value but you, it is not shown to you okay for the security reasons so again if you want to know like what every command will do uh, inside the databricks utility in, as I, as we discussed in our past videos we can use the help function so let me use this databricks utilities dot secrets dot help command then this is going to give you all the commands inside the secrets utility and there is a command called get that will take you take the secret scope name and also and also the secret name as a key so you need to pass the both the parameters and that is what i am doing it here and same thing i used as a value for the extra configurations parameter right this is all we discussed in our past video the only change is now we are using this code to read the data or to read the account key from the key vault secret using the secret scope okay so now if i execute this code it should create a mount point for my blob storage let's try to execute this and see whether that is happening or not so let me hit shift enter to execute this code if this code executes successfully that means we were able to read the secret value from this key vault account secret successfully using the secret scope concept and keep the my keep in mind that we are discussing about azure key vault backer secrets only okay so let's wait for this uh, command execution to complete here see command executed successfully that means a mount point was created successfully if i go to the same storage and if i go to the containers menu inside the blob storage account for which i created a mount point so so we created for a sample container right so if you see the code we sample container is the one to which we created a mount point so inside a sample container there is something called employees.csv file right let's try to read this uh, file uh, using the spark dot uh, spark code and then try to load that into a data frame and try to display it so that we will make sense of it we are actually reading the data or not see this is the data it has inside it so let me go to my notebook see i have already written a code spark dot read dot csv function will help you to read the csv file and to this function i am simply using my mount point name then so this mount point name will point to my sample container automatically why because we already created a mount point for it and we used the account key there in a in a secured way using the secret scopes and then inside the container i am trying to read the employees that csv file and i am also mentioning the first row the header is true that means inside the file the first row is actually header so now let's try to execute this this code will try to read the csv file and place that data into this data frame variable name called df and this display function will try to help you to display the content of the data so let me hit shift enter button to execute this code here so let's wait for the execution to complete and if you see here we are able to successfully read the data as well so that means we were able to successfully create a secret scope which is backed by azure key vault and using this secret scope whatever the secrets available inside this azure key vault we were successfully able to access the data from them so we were successfully able to access the credential or account key which is stored inside this secret name right so that we created a mount point also successfully right so this is how you did it and one one more thing what you have to remember is uh, you need to make sure inside your azure key vault account uh, if you go to access keys access policies sorry if you go to access policies here you need to make sure to add a access policy for your azure databricks okay so what you need to do you need to hit this add access policy button if that is not the case and the, here right we we why we want we want to make sure our databricks account able to get the secrets or list the secret sites so that's why make sure to give these two permissions at least so that our databricks or databricks service can get or list the secrets whatever available inside the keyword and then hit this non selected for the select principal field and here search for azure databricks service so you simply search for azure databricks service like that and then select it and then simply hit add button so this will add the policy access policy for your databricks service that is what i already did it see databricks service already have secret permissions to get them and to list them you can give more permissions as well but that is not needed we only need the get and list permission so that we can perform a read only operation of taking the data or reading the account keys or reading the credentials from our secrets of the azure key vault okay so you need to make sure that 
so let's go to presentation okay so as i said if your account should be premium plan account so that you can select the creator option inside the manage principal right uh, when you creating when you are creating a create scope and all. so this we are this all we are discussed and also databricks secrets list scopes command will help you to list down all the available secrets inside your databricks workspace so so far we created only one secret work, uh, scope which is backed by azure key vault so that's it in this video i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i videos thank you so much